being extremely cool. I'm always pretty up to date with the latest BMX moves, but when someone told me the latest craze involved riding on vertical walls, I accused them of lying. I had to apologise. Yes, I'm afraid it's true. Wall riding is with us. I strongly advise you not to try it, as it is dangerously stupid. But if you do choose to ignore me, increase your chances of survival by paying attention to this. Whilst gravity is trying to pull you down, it's thanks to friction created by your tyres on the wall that you can stay up. Briefly. <laughs> The rider hops onto the wall at around 45 degrees to maximise friction, crouching down against the bike to increase the time he can grip. The friction is never sufficient to keep the bike up for long, so for a safe dismount, he hops back off the wall. So, first things first, let's get up on the wall. Remember, the optimum angle of attack is 45 degrees. What happens when that angle is too steep? Well, that's what scientists call riding into a wall. OK, assuming you actually get up, it's all about maximising friction. A concrete wall, that should provide some friction. <laughs> But not for long. You good? Remember, on a vertical wall, friction can only overcome gravity for a very short time. And then you're always going down. OK, I'm going to let you into a little secret. There is an easier way of wall riding. A curved wall brings a bit of centripetal force to the party. At last, someone's done it but it's only possible by the addition of an extra force. On a curved surface, the bike's inertia tries to keep the bike going in a straight line, which pushes the bike into the wall. This produces centripetal force and increases the bike's friction, helping it overcome gravity for longer. It's the same science that allows motorcyclists to ride the wall of death. Centripetal force increases with speed, so he approaches at a shallow angle to maintain momentum. Simple, really. Well, not so simple when the wall isn't actually curved the whole way round. His momentum pushed him against the wall initially, but once the curve ends, so does the centripetal force and the friction. Quite literally, hit the wall. So remember, shallow angle of attack and plenty of momentum. By angling the bike up the wall, he loses valuable momentum and can't benefit from centripetal force. If at first you don't succeed, just give up and go home. <laughs>